Booyah! Welcome to our podcast, Viva La Booyah, presented by The Outlet. I'm Corey. I'm Jeff. I'm Brandon. We'll be making two podcasts a week. Wednesdays is for sports betting and all your fantasy needs. And on Fridays, we are talking about our crazy bar stories, and we'll bring in special guests to tell us theirs. Let's roll that intro. Booyah! All right, let's uh, let's start this off. Uh, let's just kind of give like a, the audience, the listeners, a little bit of an idea of who, who we, we are, are, how we yeah. met, and go from there, I guess. Right, so, <laughs> me. so let me take you on a little bit of story. Take me on that journey. Yeah. Yeah. Take me on that journey. We're in high school. <laughs> no, it's earlier. Yeah, we've yeah. known each other since Little League baseball. Yeah, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Yeah, so same like, neighborhood. But uh, you were you were you're younger, right? So like, yeah, we and we all met because Jeff got molested by the teacher. Was that you? Yeah, that was it. That was me? Yeah. <laughs> that was me? Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember, but... Yeah. Jeff did not get blessed yes. by a teacher. <laughs> Go to clarify. Yes, he did. <laughs> His name was Mark. Right. No, no, no. Was but like, you? yeah, we... What? Nothing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> As you can tell, this is our first ever podcast. Yeah, we're a little rusty here. Yeah. Or just new. <laughs> uh, so we grew up in Little League Elementary School. I feel like like our whole time growing up, even like in high school, like we always knew each other. Jeff and I have been friends for a long time, so like we were hanging out, but like we knew Brandon. It was always like, should we wave? Should we not wave? Yeah, yeah one of those type of yeah, guys. Yeah, guy we know, but we don't know him that We would be friendly yeah. if we came up or the like same Like I see you in the subway, but I'm not going to say hello. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. <laughs> not to get up for him and sit down. Yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jeff and I are a year older in grade school, so we graduated in... 13, you were like, what, 14? Yeah, I graduated in 2020. 2020. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm still in high school. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm there 17, you go. boys. There you go. <laughs> no, I graduated in 2014. Right, so... And then I just got shipped off to Arizona, so from that, from after high school, we never saw each other for two years, at least, until... Yeah, I don't even least. know if we were, like, Facebook friends. Like, it was very... No, I don't think so. No. Yeah. yeah, so one Wednesday rainy night... December. <laughs> <laughs> that was November. Was yeah, November? November. Oh, okay. Because remember the, the the Turkey Bowl. I was That's, there. Yes, oh, was it? Oh, yeah, was, yeah, that was the day. Yeah, okay. So that day was Wednesday trivia at a local Mexican Mexican restaurant. We always went there every Wednesday, and for some reason, Corey and Jeff Corey. decided to go and tag along. Yeah. And my roommate at the time, Nathan, who's also my really good friend, was there. And somehow, we started talking to each other, like, hey, these guys are pretty cool, we invited them over to our house, and we fucked up. I mean, <laughs> just, never mind. <laughs> but we started getting to know them, like, hey, these guys are cool. We ended up partying with them for... Like a month. I also want to clarify, Brandon lives on this man-made lake that, like, has the craziest Christmas ever. And I was super pumped when he invited us over, because I've always <laughs> wanted to go on a boat, that, like, to go see the lights. Mm-hmm. So was I using Brandon? Yes. Mm-hmm. Was Jeff? I don't know. Of course. Know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Actually, now thinking about it, like not to, like, I think maybe the it was. Um, I think you're right. The first time, I think we actually like officially the thing was in December, and I think we played Turkey Bowl because Nathan had his shirt off. And yeah, yeah, I, 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 I remember really, that. You guys I was really into that for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> and well, yeah like, the first time we met Nathan. Was Officially, that? yeah, because yeah. he went yeah. to our same high school too. But so he was a year younger yes. than me, so he didn't graduate till twenty fifteen. Yeah, so right. The chance of you guys actually knowing him been slim. I think I knew. Of yeah, you knew. You know of him. We went to a small Christian Catholic school. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Bless up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So where are we at? So we're, we're at trivia night, right? Trivia night, yes. Yeah, but it was weird though. But like, you know, it's funny. Like, if you remember. Like, the seating was weird. I think Jeff and I showed up late, or you guys showed up late, and there was, like, it was a space between, like, Jeff and I, or you and Nathan, and we sat, like, in between, so... Oh, yeah, I remember Because you and that. I sat Could next you, to each other, yeah. and then Jeff and Nathan sat yeah. next to each uh-huh. other, and that's why it was, like, funny. It was, like, it was almost, like, both groups, like, hit it off, and then together. Yeah, yeah. we were a pack. A super yeah. pack. <laughs> a whole a pack. teacher's lounge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right, teacher's <laughs> lounge. Yeah. I totally forgot about the teacher's so lounge. So, that, actually, that trivia night, Nathan... Hit on a teacher who's like 40 years old. At least. MILF. Yeah. Super good <laughs> Crazy looking. Crazy hot. Yeah. And he actually got his number, and then that just spurred us more into like, oh, these guys are pretty cool. I ended up hanging out. And they used me for my boat. <laughs> We've already established that. Yeah. We've already yeah. established now, that. Now thinking back on it, yeah, you guys Which definitely just found me. out about. Oh, yeah. I don't think I want to do There's this There's another story. Anymore. <laughs> There's another story for another time that we can... Right. So the rest of the December, now we're all hanging out, and... 
I remember just being hammered like the whole month. 24-7? Yeah. At least three days out of the week. Like probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Probably. Yeah. I, I feel like you actually might have been more because we were off school, so I think it, we had all the time to ourselves. Mm-hmm. So right, we were just looking for any reason to drink. You'd be like, "It's Tuesday, yeah, tacos, yeah. tequila, shots." Like <laughs> we're going out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh booyah! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I keep fucking saying booyah after you say it? But it's like our eighth okay, time okay, doing this. Okay. But it's all right. Whatever. Fuck it. We're connected. You love me. <laughs> but that's the reason. Like. Jeff, like, correct me, but, like, did, like, your dad, like, talk to you about, like, drink? Oh, you're... yeah. Well, my family's had a little history of, kind of, alcoholics, so he's like, you gotta be careful, you can't drink that much. I'm like, Dad, I'm not pretty young, so I shouldn't have to worry about that, but he Just told me that every yeah. single time I went out with Brandon, so. Yeah. And Jeff did submit himself to rehab. He was... <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me <laughs> tell you, that doesn't work. Yeah, each time he failed. <laughs> I thought Jeff was invincible. <laughs> Get two tequila shots and a beef fly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jump off that ten story building. <laughs> but isn't Nate's birthday in December? It is indeed, yes. His twenty first birthday, if I remember it correctly, was that month in December. Oh, oh that's right. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I keep forgetting that he wasn't twenty one yet. So yeah. that was that was the the worst part was like we just kept getting hammered at like someone's house. At yeah. my house yeah. on the boat. On the yeah. boat. We went, remember we went to that house party on Christmas and that girl made us take those like nasty fucking eggnog shots. Oh I, I forgot there for about that. that. I wasn't there for that. Oh, okay. Nate Jeff. was there. Yeah. 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 So it was, it was it was us three. Yeah, it was me, Corey and Ja Nathan, Nathan were there. Nathan. Yeah. And this girl ha- owned the house, and she made the- these disgusting eggnog shots. I it was straight her. cum. Like I think she like really, really got her boyfriend like come into a cup, and they got like eggnog mix, and like did it. She like watch these fuckers. Like, yeah, yeah. take a shot. Like, that's what they're in the party. Watch. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. In order for us to stay at the party, she made us oh, take right. the shots. We took one out of like respect. Okay, we'll take one. She wanted to take. It was the most disgusting thing we've ever tasted. And then within ten seconds, she's like, take another, take another. And we're like, we're not taking another. We just took one. She's like, all right, then you have to leave. We were there for ten minutes. We left. We said, well, like here's the thing about like Nathan. He's, I mean, he's not on the podcast. We'll bring him on. He's got some great stories. But Nathan's like a straight hard ass. So it's like if you tell him to like fuck off and leave, he will. Like he's not gonna be like, oh please let me stay. We're here. He'd be like, all right, fuck you. I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what he did. And that girl that invited Nathan <laughs> and us was pissed and confused because we walked yeah. out of there in 10 minutes and she was like we can come back in he's like nope she wants yeah. to fucking leave fuck her we're out yep and that's just how nate rolls mm-hmm. Corey, do you remember those tents oh yeah not existed not existed <laughs> were were we were not you were drunk tents. that night <laughs> we were all drunk that night first <laughs> off <laughs> Like, Wait, side note, sorry. Side note, remember Nate sent us a photo, like, the next day of us taking this group selfie, and no, none of none us, of us. <laughs> we weren't even sure if we were in the right city, and then we recognized, like, a side in the background, and we're like, okay, we were actually in Fullerton, but I remember, like, we were, like, got this, like, random text message about this photo, I was like, I have no idea yeah, this None was. of us really knew where that photo came from. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the tens. Okay, first off, we're feeling it, and uh, we got a lot of tequila on us. We're right. social. We're hitting it off. We're nailing it. We're killing the dance. <laughs> Always. <laughs> we're phenomenal dancers. Always. This is all true so far. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, Corey's a phenomenal dancer. Yeah. I just look like a Greek god next door. <laughs> As I always say, watch me go to work. That's yeah. always what I say. And he goes to work, ladies. He goes. Let me yes. tell you, he is a phenomenal dancer. <laughs> Sweaty Not as ever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like the the tens. I don't even know how, how it happened. I think they were like just like these two I think random we're, girls, like in between each bar. Yeah, we were walking to a bar and we just stumbled upon on them. Yeah. And we thought we were they were super cute. And the next we morning, we fell in love with them. Corey <laughs> and I certified tens, while Jeff and Nate thought they were like twos. <laughs> but there's no way. So here's what usually happens when we go out. Corey and Brandon go you know, balls to the walls. They fight each other to see who get the most drunk. While Nate and I, you know, we just casually drink. We don't go too crazy. So their memory of this night is a little little shaded here. And they were not tense. I'll stand by that till the day I die. We have video evidence to prove that they were <laughs> wait, tense. Yes. Wait, let me... Let me <laughs> so, so the whole time we're arguing about, like, how... These girls, like, obviously, like, we're being dramatic. Like, I don't know if they were tens, but we were, like, saying, like, they were good looking. I mean, like, we weren't, like. They weren't, probably weren't tens, but, like. Right. Hold like, on. Are you guys going to say they're tens this whole time? But it's, a, it's the uh, joke, yeah. Jeff. But... Okay, they're 9.9. 9. <laughs> they're not that, no. Yeah, I'll go with the standard. <laughs> but my old coworker actually lives in apartments that overlook that bar. And he said at 1 in the morning, he hears 
this really loud voice being like, I Corey, like come, like, and he's like, is he fucking outside my door? And he records me, and guess who are there? The fucking tens. The problem. Booyah! <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> the problem is, is they never turn around in the video, exactly. so it's inconclusive. Right, right. Not Lawyered. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not valid. So, but let me tell you, those backsides, at least an 8.5. Yeah. At, if not at a minimum. Yeah. 8.5. Mm-hmm. We'll agree to disagree, gentlemen. <laughs> Let the record show they were tens. <laughs> we'll go to court to this, okay? <laughs> right. But that's when we kind of knew that, like, it was like a fun group, yeah, and like yeah. we were we were probably gonna be friends like for a long time. It wasn't just like like us just hanging out, you yeah. know? Like, so December and January, we were just partying, going hard, and then we had, ended up Nate and I lived in Arizona at the time. I went to ASU. Nate was going to school there as well. And so it was uh, time for us to go back to school, and yet we still stayed in contact. We had a group chat called the Teacher's Lounge due to that one trivia night where Nate hit on the teacher. And so for a while, we were just going back and forth, and they said Corey and Jeff wanted to come out and visit Nathan and I. But let me tell you, like that was like the most hyped group thread I think I've ever been a part of. Yes, for sure. For like that, I think we decided like almost like two weeks. I think Jeff and I were going back. Because we go to state school out here in California. So, like, yeah. ours was starting a little bit later than Brandon's. Mm -hmm. So, we had, like, a little bit of a window. Yeah, like a week or two. Right. So, we were... And those two weeks, I, I've never... It was... You would have thought we were billionaires about to spend millions <laughs> yes. on this yacht. And we were going to, like, have, like, <laughs> models. Desert, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yes. yeah. yeah. But, like, it was, like, how were yeah. we going to put the yacht? Like, right in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> but it was hyped. And, yeah. it, oh, and I remember, like, at one point, Nathan was, like... We got to tone it down because the expectations for this trip are way too high. Right. And I would they agree to disagree. So, yeah. ASU goes hard. We have one strip called Mill Avenue, and it's bar central. Within 10 feet, there's a bar after bar after bar. It's like the <laughs> Vegas of Arizona. Like it's, yeah. like, it's like a small version of Vegas. <laughs> and all the casinos. ASU sororities go there. They're super hot, rich girls. All tens, let me tell you. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's kind of backtrack a little bit. Um, so we came out Thursday night. Thursday night, yeah. I think we like, because yeah, I think you were in class or Nate would, was working or something. So it was like Thursday night would be a good one. Then we have all Friday, to recover all Saturday. Yeah, they drive. And yeah. then, um, Jeff and I would leave Sunday. Come on Sunday, yeah. yeah. So Thursday night we come up, we're driving. And I remember we got like a phone call from Brandon saying, Hey, we forgot that we joined an ultimate frisbee league, <laughs> <laughs> and we can't back out because yeah. if we don't go to the practice, like the first practice of the year, we can't play the league. Yeah. So Jeff and I are like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, we just drove like, four hours to see you guys, and you guys are uh, yeah. playing ultimate frisbee. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like, "Just show up. I'm sure you guys could play." And sure enough, we showed up, and my fat ass yeah. had a. <laughs> Boy, ultimate frisbee yeah, and jeans by the way yes <laughs> no jump is a jeans i was in like converse and i was, I was sliding so yeah. all over the grass we were killing it let me tell you folks. We had, <laughs> exhausting we had the teacher's lounge connection <laughs> right off the bat but i remember like it wasn't like a like a quick one hour practice it was like a two and yeah. a half hour oh, yeah i think we played four games yeah it was intense how many people were there <laughs> i think it was like the whole league it was yeah. like 100 yeah. people yeah at least because yeah. ultimate frisbee like i mean like we could correct this later but it's like it's like 20 on 20 it seems like maybe it's probably like 10 on 10 but it is 10 on 10 i have no idea i don't remember but it's a lot on a lot yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i just remember it was just like us four and then like people that actually play were like yes. pretending <laughs> to try to like throw like like a hammer throw yeah like right <laughs> over the top and like he was like Not teaching us like all, all these yeah. terms and we're like <laughs> i never really i established like we have to have a team name and i, I remember when i said like i was like Gryffindor, and I would throw the frisbee to like start off the game, or like I was like, "We're the snakes!" Like I was just, like, changing the team name, like just trying to like make it somewhat amusing to us. Yes. Right. Oh my God. God. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, next day, Friday, uh, we wake up. I mean, like, Thursday, we didn't do anything. I think we probably had a couple beers. Yeah, didn't like uh, like recovered. that one girl came over. I think or I don't. Know, nothing oh, really happened. Oh, what was that? Oh, Nathan wait, got really know. pissed at you guys. You're, you're oh, going over through, yeah. You're going through your, um, We're all going through our Bumble accounts. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. You, you've yeah. been talking about that, and me and Nate were just talking, and he was just telling me he's getting pissed off because he's <laughs> yeah. talking to this girl. Oh, well. Right. <laughs> of course, yes. But that was, I mean, that's not really much. I mean, right. it was just, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Um, anyway, so Friday comes. 
we decide we want to look good. I mean, this is the night we've been planning for for like two weeks. Yeah. We want to look good. Yeah. What do we do? We go to the mall. What store do we go to? The Hurley store. Yeah. Out, of, out of business sales. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like 80% off. And yeah. We all found like shirts and we were like... We thought we were cool, then we realized that we we're all wearing yeah. really shirts. Like, <laughs> fuck it. it was like, like idiots. <laughs> I still have that shirt. I love that shirt. Yeah. I have no clue that shirt is. No. Uh, I threw my shirt away. Yeah. <laughs> After that I night, no. Yeah, that was a bad luxury. Um, and then what? Like, the pregame happened, right? Yeah, the pregame. We went hard. I we remember that. We quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, so we pregamed at my house, and I remember we were only like 10 minutes from Mill, so it wasn't too far away. We take an Uber there, and we go into our first bar. What was that? Oh, that country bar. Dirk oh, Bentley. Bentley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just chilling in there. Was it popping? I don't think it was popping that yet. No, I don't think it so was. So we went out to a different one. Um, I forget. Well, like, really quick, I do have to say, I, I forgot, we haven't mentioned yet, that you actually broke up with your girlfriend. We didn't oh, find that out until we actually went to Arizona. Yeah. yeah, I did. Like, long before we even met. Like, not that long, but like... Go, so go yeah, ahead. so yeah. I did. Re- I did have a girlfriend of three years, from freshman year of college to junior year of college, which was a rookie mistake. But oh well, live and learn. We're making up for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Same mindset. Right. Jeff, you just have to do it with us at the same time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so that was like my first little real long term relationship. So I really don't know how to understand how to handle the breakup so that night friday night she texted me saying hey i'm going out to dirk's uh you we should meet up there and i was like all right i i'm down let's meet up because i'm an idiot yes. <laughs> kind of nitty mug it idiot <laughs> so we go to dirk Bentley. she wasn't there yet i think we went there to like 10 30 wasn't anything nothing really happening we ended up bouncing we went to a different bar we're getting drinks and I get pay me eyes. Uh, I don't understand what pay me eyes are, but I get them from my mother. Uh, <laughs> let me explain. Yeah. Let me. I'm gonna cut it. Yeah. Pay me eyes. Let me try to think like a best, like so the listeners can get. Imagine like your friend like half squinting, but looks high, tired, drunk, and maybe like slightly angry, like a resting bitch face. All four yeah. elements in one eyes. So if you're a bouncer, you'd be like, I don't know what the fuck's happening coming, like, coming at me right I now. I'm not letting this asshole in. <laughs> and I get them after like two drinks. I get them instantly. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. two coarse lights. Like in the, it doesn't take much for you to get the eyes. Right. But. So anyways, we ended up going back to that bar. We're all four in line. We're all waiting. We f- it, was a, it was finally popping. We all get up to the line, get to the bouncer. I show him my ID, and he likes one look at me and says, I'm not letting you in. And realistically, I wasn't even that drunk yet. Like I was sober enough that I was having a conversation with him. I'm like, what? You're not letting me in? He's like, yeah, you're too drunk. And I'm like, bro, like what the fuck? Like, I'm having a normal conversation. It was just my eyes. He just didn't like the look I was giving him. Yeah. So I ended up getting kicked out. Didn't even make it. Got kicked out. And Corey decided to go with me. Nate said, fuck, Nate, yeah, said, Nate fuck said, you. Fuck you. <laughs> so we went our separate ways. Brandon's his own person. Yeah. He can take yeah. care of his fucking Jeff, self. Jeff went with Nathan, and they pretty much said, see you fuckers. Yeah. 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 They sounded divided. Yes. We were in, in a protest. Yes. <laughs> so, anyways, Corey and I ended up going to a, a different bar, and I'm like, fuck it. You want to see some pay me eyes? Like, I got obliterated yeah. blacked out but drunk. remember my friend so i have like a family friend that like went yeah. to i think like nau is that, is that close no no grand canyon grand canyon close yeah. right mm-hmm. so he went to grand canyon and he came out and he was a little bit behind the game and he kept buying his drinks and i remember literally it was a bucket like a small like like the pot like the no, not popcorn yeah um, i think the that's, cotton candy that's things. El Jefe. yeah yeah like Oh my god! It, it, of Jack and Coke, and we were just chugging them. Yeah. Like, like I think we got like two each. Like I remember, like we we're like walking around, like fucking, like, <laughs> like, 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 like more money. Like, right. <laughs> and we were obliterated. We were, and we went to like three more bars after that, and mm-hmm. it was worse than when we went to Dirk's family. Yeah, yeah the, it was more did you get into up. all of them too? Yeah, yeah, I did, that's I did. it. It yeah. was weird. It was like that's. <clears throat> Excuse me. I remember like that was so weird because you guys were like, no, Brian, like you were drunk. I was like, we got in like five more bars after that. Maybe mm-hmm. this one is money. Maybe yeah. maybe Brian was showing Standards like, were credit- much lower at those places. <laughs> yeah. They were showing like a credit card. Like, they're like, yeah. we'll take it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Brandon lost four credit cards that night. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a wild night. Like, but actually, we like we met up. I don't know how. I think we just like. We're what just, happened with well, you guys? So, you? O- over at. Um, where were Dirks. we? Dirks. We were at Dirks. Yeah. We were just, we were just getting drinks. I was getting kind of <clears throat> fucked up. Nate was 
talking to this is, girl. Is, is that what Nate meant? Like, is, no, that was the second time we went out there, right? Yeah, that was the second time. Yeah. Okay. This time he, he was talking to this chick, and we we're just getting drinks or whatever. Yeah, just, and just I'm thinking, out. Just it's been out. it's been like an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, shoot, I better check out these guys. See it. See if um, Brandon and Corey are still alive. They were really. dead in a ditch. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the way they drink it, no one's there to take care of them. Oh, so yeah. we have no clue what's going to happen. Right. So, I mean, I, like, nothing really happened. I mean, I remember we, like, we danced you know, a little bit. We went to like, different bars. first cigarette. I remember that. I was pumped. Yeah, first one for me, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, I remember Jeff texted us. I think it's about like one thirty by this point. So it's yeah. like the end of the night's over. I mean, the bars are the same mm-hmm. pretty much all. Like, they close at 2. Yeah. And I remember... Um, <clears throat> Jeff or Nathan, obviously the two responsible ones, got us a, uh, an Uber, and I mean, I'll let Jeff take over this part a little bit. But I remember there was there was this girl like like lounged up against like the the streetlight, yeah, like, yeah, like, like the streetlight, and and then I, let, I remember like Nate and Jeff were talking to him, and me and Brandon were just trying to say say them <laughs> <Yeah>. straight. But... <laughs> so we're trying to keep Brandon and Corey just alive, dear, like kind of near us. And Nate and I spot this girl, this this beautiful blonde girl, and she is. She is beyond wasted. I mean, she's probably worse than Brandon and Corey this time. And um, she's like, she's like almost stumbling into the street. It was, it was really bad. And we see this guy kind of like around her, and he was kind of like touching her a little inappropriately. And she's not, she's not into this. Uh-huh. So Nate's talking to me. He's like, should we, should we like take care of this, or like should we like take care of her? It's like, ah, eh, sure, why not? We'll do it. So we threw her back into our Uber. Which, which is funny. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I was like, let's clarify. This is not a take advantage story. Yeah, this well, is that, truly. That was our, that was our love, whole problem. Was, yeah. Yeah. Like, this is a warm story. Yes. Okay. Warm story. Good ending. Uh-huh. Good right. ending. Yeah. Good ending. Yeah. yeah. So thank God our Uber driver was super cool. He takes us back to Brandon's house. house. Yeah, Brandon's yeah, yeah, house. Yeah. And um, we yeah. So we take him there, and then did we drop you off there? No. So. My buddy came back with me, and he was like, hey, this one girl like I met at the bar, or maybe some dating website or something, was like, uh, I, there's another girl there. If you want to come help me out, that would be cool. I'd be like, all right, sweet, whatever. I'm hammered. Man, like, I probably had so much whiskey that night that like right, it's yeah. probably like my dick's inside of me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I, I remember – so. But we're still like this friendship's like probably like a month old. Yeah. So I'm in the house and I'm like, I know Nate's got a condom, and I'm like, Nate, Nate, and Nate's trying to like corner this girl, to make sure like she's like okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> not hey, this is all new to you. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Pat was like, Nate, you got a condom, and he's like, he's trying to be nice because like we're friends, but you like even like my drunken state, I was like, okay, I gotta stop asking. You. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we leave, and. I'll just tell this part. So we leave this house, and like they are not that attractive. <laughs> and my buddy was like, "It's gonna be great." I was like, "I don't think so." <laughs> and I did, I did not sleep because I was just like sitting there, like this is a nightmare. And then I had whiskey dick, and it kind of worked. And it you I got mean, love, <laughs> but like we like did it. Like so, I don't know if like it should really count. But, like, yeah, it sounds like you got. I rain. think it's a half. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways. She was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got breakfast in the morning. And, uh, no, I remember we left at like, I remember I woke him up at like six and he's like butt ass naked. And I was like, bro, we got to get out of here. And he like, he like woke up and he like, I think he blacked out. Cause he's like, where are we? And I was like, I don't know, bro, but we got to get out of here. He's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And like, we just got out of there. And I remember I like paid like, like sixty dollars in Ubers oh. to get him back to his house, and then I took it back to our house, and it wasn't six a.m. Yeah, and go ahead. What? So, well, while you guys left, okay, me and Nate were trying to figure out what do we do with this girl. We don't want her staying here and her right. waking up and be like, "What the fuck? Where am I?" Right. So we decided to call another Uber to go take her back to her place. That's right. No, you called about the friends though. Tell oh yeah, yeah, that's friends. right. Yes, yeah, so we called, we called the we got her phone and we called one of her friends, and she told us like where her address was. So that we were driving over there, and she was like. Hey, can you can you guys like take care of her for the night? We're like, we're two completely fucking random people right. trying to take her back to her house, and your best friend's saying no, take care of her. Right. Like, what kind of friend is that? Not so we're like, one. all right, I guess we'll take you back to our place. And um, this is when Corey was gone, so our room uh, situation was there were two beds in this one room. I was sleeping on one, Corey was sleeping on the other. So we bring her back. 
we throw her on the bed next to me, and I'm laying down trying to sleep. But like every ten minutes, I open my eyes, to make sure like, okay, she's still there, she's still alive. Okay, every, she's still baby. Yeah. She yeah. hasn't made a move. Yet. Damn it, she hasn't made a move. <laughs> I'm just letting your butt out. Yeah. Like, yeah, made a move yet. Don't blink it whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, what the Viagra is this? taken. What is this show? <laughs> I'm like a peacock. Cold feathers. <laughs> Jeff's waiting. pitching a tent over there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this Uber driver is super cool. We were talking like, hey, you are, if she tries to make us to sue us or shit like that, you do. We were good with her. We didn't do anything to her. He got her back, yeah. right? He's like, yeah, totally It was a cool. bad setup. Oh, like, it was terrible. Like, just like, even us like yeah. retelling this, I'm like yeah. thinking like, that night could have been so much worse it could have been horrible run. our lives could have been ruined she goes home to this house with four guys right it's like that's terrible three, three. all three well no you came with us then you left i was, I was blacked out drunk you're oh, half yeah no way i was doing okay. anything two and a half okay. like, brandon where were you in the story <laughs> i was asleep in my bed yeah. <laughs> nice and cozy <laughs> wait we have to tell the best part Brandon, how many times did you call your girlfriend in that Uber ride home? Yes, please tell us. In the Uber ride home, or like... I <laughs> in the Actually, process of getting into the Uber and on the way home. I have no recollection of that, so... Let I'm me check my like notes real quick. Maybe two times. Let me check my notes. <laughs> yeah, I called her... 38 times. <laughs> 38 fucking times. <laughs> she wasn't answering. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. She did not answer yeah. any of them. did she not <laughs> answer at 2 a.m.? It could have been what an emergency. Yeah, I, was, I was blacked out drunk. I didn't know where I was. I needed help. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. God. So so that's like the whole night though, right? For you. Yeah, pretty much, yes. She, like, yes. So she did fall asleep. Then she ended up then, in, yeah, sleeping in the bed so and everything. Fast, so now we're back to like where I was. Now I'm on the Uber after dropping him off. Yes. Around, now we're on the way home. Like 6.30, probably 7.00. Yeah, yeah, I think it was six thirty. I get in the house and now I walk in and she is like yelling. Like <laughs> yelling and then she like like I come in the door, she's like, Who are you? And I was like, Who are you? Like, go, like I don't know who this <laughs> is. No right. recollection who she you is. I, mean? like, I literally have not slept. Yes. Like I just I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I I, I think I'm still drunk. I'm just yes. not as drunk. And yeah. this girl's just screaming at me and <laughs> And Jeff, like, comes in, like, just, I don't know, bro. Yeah, like, 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 stay up. away, please. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, this is... While well, Brandon was still asleep during all this. Yeah. So. <laughs> but... Let the court record show. Yeah. I, I did nothing. Yes. <laughs> but, I mean, like... I mean, like, in the morning, it got fine. I mean, like, I remember yeah. you guys made breakfast. It, they got, she, she was sober. And she was actually really cool. She yeah, was, like, she a was bartender nice, at, like, yeah. some bar area. And mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. she said, like, come out. Like, I'll, I'll get you guys, like, an appetizer, some drinks if you guys want to come out. To, like, I think, so this is, like, Saturday morning. Yes. Yeah. Weirdly. Um, <laughs> and uh, she's like, come tonight. Like, I'm working. You guys, like, get drinks. Like, have a good time. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, that's, that's kind of like it. I mean. And then we all went back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah we, 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 we got to rest up for Saturday's events. Yeah. yeah. So we wake up, we do what every 20-year-olds do. We play a little Fortnite, get some food. I think we were kind of motivated because we learned new Frisbee shots. I think we went out, played Frisbee for oh, a little yes, bit. Yes. And uh-huh. I mean, like, we were just trying. A lot of YouTube videos. Yeah. And yeah. then we took another nap. Of course, yes. We had to take another nap. Mm-hmm. And then, so Nate texted the girl, <laughs> and she, true to her word, we went out, and she bought us, like, an appetizer and a drink. We're hanging out. It turns out it wasn't really like a bar. It was like a restaurant bar. So like it wasn't like... Like a super fancy restaurant. Oh, it was yeah, a really nice yeah. place. I remember like we opened the menu. We're like, can't afford that. Yeah. Can't afford that. <laughs> $25 out of budget. Yeah. for a burger. Like, no. Yeah. The worst part about this was... The guy that was groping her was his co was her coworker. Yeah, it was oh, the grossest thing. Yes, it was yeah. the grossest yeah. thing. Yeah. Wild. She had no clue. We're like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's the guy that was kind of Trying messing to with you a little yeah. bit. I remember she wasn't like she no, was. Like, she didn't very, really care that much. Really, yeah, she was like thankful, but like. It was like after she like we came and got the drinks like that was it like, that, was, that yeah. was like and we like I mean like I don't know really what we were like, like expecting but like we were just like all right like I think we thought the place would be more fun and it really yeah. wasn't and we're no. like okay let's get out of here and they were like let's go to Scottsdale I heard that's like, like they've been there before it's like it's pretty fun so we go to Scottsdale yeah and there's a Dirk Bentley there of yeah. course yeah. <laughs> yeah. we have to start yeah, there. Yeah, you want to go to Arizona start you go to Arizona start there so. It turns out that it was like the worst night to go to <laughs> somehow on terrible. a Saturday. I mean, it was Scottsdale. Pretty, people don't know is, is a it's a pretty expensive place. Yeah, to that's live. probably the it's, wealthiest place uh, in Arizona. It's a lot of young wealthy people, and so well, it was probably like between like twenty eight <laughs> to like thirty five. It's all the people that got aged out of the mill went there pretty much. Right, yes. and we and stuck out like sore. And we yeah. didn't like look bad, but we were wearing like you know like. 
Ten years younger like, than everyone. You know, like classic <laughs> Hurley shirts and jeans, yeah. and everyone there is wearing like Clarks and By khakis and yes. vests and stuff. Everyone's talking like, about their stock market. Yes. Right. Their K's. Yeah. Jeff, did you see someone there? Like I saw Andrew Tolls there. He was in the no, yeah, spring the training player. for the Dodgers. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that's right. Said hi to him in the bathroom. Very weird conversation. <laughs> Jeff's like, yo, bro, you packing here? Yeah. Right? yeah. Whoa. <laughs> no wonder you don't yeah. look at that digger. <laughs> um... So, That's not happening, by the way. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, please call me. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lovely night. Yeah. So I remember. So uh, as we always said, like we we like to dance, but like Nate doesn't like to dance. He just likes to like kick back, have a good time. And I remember Nate like kind of looked at us and like like kind of like fuck it, let's go dancing. And like when Nate said it, it was like we're going we're dancing. Going dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got so we I think Nate drove there so we drove back to the house and then ordered Uber to uh, yeah. Milligan yeah. Uber and got a lot of business for us yes. that week <laughs> Uber was very happy where did we go we went to Dirk's Bentley and yeah. guess who got in I did <laughs> finally <laughs> got in we made it yeah. fist in the it air it was historic night <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the same bouncer that I was working I'm like sure that, and he finally let me in right that asshole but Felt bad. <laughs> so this guy again. Right. He has Pam eyes already. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> and this actually turned out to be probably like the funnest night of the weekend. Like like Friday night was crazy because like it was just like that's just chaos. That's all it was. Yeah, it, yeah it was like it no was sleep. Fun, obviously, but yeah, like it was kind of fun, but like it ended weird and like it's extremely weird. Yes. Yeah, it was not part of the text yeah. message thread. Like this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> but Saturday was fun. Like we're buying drinks, we're dancing. Uh, this is like the first time like I'm showing off my moves. I think I had like the classic line of like watch me go to work. Like I go to work and then like everyone just flocks towards me yeah. and like I mean like, it's true yeah, <laughs> that night like I always kind of say this joke and like that night it actually kind of worked no it did work <laughs> yeah I danced like this one girl came up and, yeah. I, and she, I realized that she had the equal amount of yeah. friends <laughs> as us and I was like hey get your friends dance, dance with my friends and she's like okay and yeah. went over and turned, it turns out all three friends were in relationships yeah, of course, so it yes. kind of backfired a little <laughs> bit <laughs> damn it it worked yeah. <laughs> it was great for Gory <laughs> booyah baby yeah. <laughs> booyah <laughs> but I mean it, 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 and that was just like kind of the night we just danced yeah. so like i mean we, we were trying to hit up on oh, girls boy. and that was i mean it was a good night yeah yeah I, 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 let's say like that was that was kind of the night we were talking about was like that night yes. you mm-hmm. know like I, the, I think the friday night i think we were a little bit like trying a little too hard yeah, different yeah. bars i mean obviously like him getting kicked out didn't Did not help, help. <laughs> and you guys not coming with us also yes. didn't help yes, yes. Thanks, guys <laughs> <laughs> But handle your liquor, um, sir. Yeah, right. <laughs> or handle your Pam eyes. How about that? <laughs> true, true friend, asshole. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of the weekend. I mean, Sunday night, I mean, or not Sunday night, but like Sunday morning, we woke up and I think we just left. Yep. And the friendship continued on. Right. But, and more stories that's... to come. Yeah. Let me that's tell true. you. Yeah. And that right there, I mean, like, that's what the episode's probably be titled, but that is the Arizona story 2018. Yeah. Pretty wild. We kind of want to start out with this story just because it involved all of us. It was mm-hmm. crazy. I mean, later on, we'll kind of talk about more, like, individual stories. Like, yeah. I know we said in the intro we're going to bring on guests to to tell their stories, we'll interview, whatever, but... Yeah, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed our first ever Viva La Booyah podcast. We had and fun, hope you guys had fun. Yeah, and, we had uh, more to come. 